Hello, Lana. Welcome once again to Manifested e-learning platform. My name is James Kenyani. We are going to proceed with our topic on similarity and enlargement. In our topic today, we are going to look at properties of similar figures, but today we'll dwell on triangles. So, so for each of the lessons, an objective should be put forward. Eh? At the end of this lesson, the learner should be able to identify whether two triangles are similar and through that you can be able to calculate some of the missing sides in any given question. So the objective. So that is the objective. The learner should be identify whether two triangles are similar. So to exemplify that, we have to put down three triangles which we will determine some of those properties. So I'll start. So that is the first triangle we have. It is A, B, C, this angle is 60 degrees, and that one is 70 degrees. We shall move to the second triangle, DE. So at D, create 60 degrees. So this one still has 60 here and 70. So we said what makes triangles to be similar is their shape. So the angles give the triangles the shape. Given that this one is 60, 70, the other angle obviously uh, will be equal to this because this one has 60 and 70. So I'll give this one three centimeters. So this one is DEF. I'll come to the third triangle. PQR at P there is 60 and at R there is 70. So I'm joining. So this is P, that is Q, and that So we have PQR, this is 4.5 centimeters. And we have a vertice there, Q, 
we'll go to the first lesson where we said eh, similar figures will have the same shape but not necessarily the same size. As we move to the objective of this eh, is by us determining determining so there are, there is a way you can determine using the angle so 70 is supposed to be here so on a look of things we have 60 degrees here 70 60 70 60 70 the remaining angle is the balance of subtracting the sum of 60 and 70 from 180 so this angle is uh, this angle and that angle and that angle are equal. So if we take the ratios, if I take a, a DE, DE over AB, DE over AB. That ratio will be 3 over 2. So if I also come, if actually the triangles are similar, if I take uh, EF, EF over DC, if actually the triangles are similar, I should get the same ratio. I should get actually the same ratio. So I can move and measure. For two centimeters, you see it was represented using my scale on the board. It was six regular divisions on that. So this one comes to 6.5 regular units and here we have we have almost 10 of those units 10 of those units so you'll come if this was six represented two so from my scale six two centimeters was represented by six parts six part therefore one centimeter is represented by six over two which gives three parts so i'm just doing that because of issues of scale so so one centimeter i'll have three parts so i'll come here EF, EF, so one, two, three, that is one centimeter. Uh, again, one, two, three, that's another centimeter. One, two, three, another centimeter. So, if I get, if I get one of it, eh, it will be a third of a centimeter. It is actually going to be a third of a centimeter. So that will work to 3.33. 3.33. I'll also come here. Uh, BC. BC. So one, two, three. That is one centimeter. One, two. Three, another centimeter. So I'll, I'm actually having two centimeters, almost 2.1666. So that still gives me 1.5. 1.5. So this is a clear indication that the two are similar i can even come and say uh, df df lana divide by ca 
df divided by cf. So, I will come uh, to df. So, three parts for one centimeter. So, one, two, three, one centimeter. One, two, three, one centimeter. One, two, three, one centimeter. So, those are three centimeters. And this is one unit and slightly more than a half. So, one, two, three, three. We are getting around 3.8. 3.8. We shall come to these. Eh? Come to this. Can measure at the center. Use the center. So one, two, three. One centimeter. I have one, two, three. One centimeter. One, two, three. 2 centimeters and 1 of that. So I'll have almost 2, 2.3, almost 2.31, 2 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, which will work to the same, almost the same ratio, 1.5. So we discovered that the corresponding Lana, we discovered that the corresponding ratios of sides are equal. The corresponding ratios of sides are equal. I can do the same for the second pair. I can relate this to this. I can say in two, uh, PQ over DE, Lana, it gives me 4.5 divide by 3. It still gives me 1.5. I can also come and say QR 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 divide by FE. So I'll come and measure with that scale. So I have one, two, three, one centimeter, one, two, three, another centimeter, one, two, three, three centimeters, one, two, three, four centimeters, and two parts. So it's working to two thirds of a centimeter. That is 4.67. So I'll come and divide by this. One, two, I got DE somewhere, the FE, so this is FE, sorry, FE, one, two, three, one centimeter, one, two, three, two centimeters, one, two, three, three centimeters. So it's 3.33, you can see we have one unit there, three, 0.33. It works to 1.5. I can also come to PR. PR divided by FD. PR divided by FD. When I'm doing that, what am I trying to get? I'm trying to get the ratios of the corresponding sides. And notice that Lana, in similarity, we always compare a pair. We always compare a pair. In the first one, I was comparing this first triangle to the second triangle to see whether they are similar. So when I come to the second one, I'm comparing this uh, triangle in the middle and 
the larger of the three. You always compare two to come out with similarity. You don't involve three. So I'm comparing these to the third one. So I'll come to PR. PR. So one, two, three, one centimeter. Uh, PR is this one, sorry. Sorry for that. So I'll come to one, two, three, one centimeter. One, two, three, one centimeter. One, two, this is one centimeter. Two, one, two, three, three centimeters. One, two, three, four centimeters. One, two, three, five centimeters. Around 5.28. 5.28 divide by will come to FD 1 1 1 2 3 1 centimeter 1 2 3 2 centimeters 1 1 2 3 3 centimeters and a half and uh, this is almost a half of a centimeter, but we have something extra. So it comes to around 3.66. Repeat that. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three. We get that. And a half. This works to almost 3.5. 3.5. So it worked well. It will work to that ratio. So what do we discover? The corresponding ratios of sides of similar triangles are equal corresponding ratios of similar uh, corresponding ratios of sides of similar triangles of similar triangles are equal so that is what we are trying to prove there corresponding So the corresponding ratios of sides of similar triangles are equal. So when I say a ratio, I took this side and divided by its corresponding side in the smaller triangle. So I found that eh, triangle A, if I were to call them, this is B and C. So when you are, you can either say this. It, it is true to say triangle A is similar to B, is similar to triangle, triangle B. You see I'm comparing this one and another one. So it is also similar to this one. We can also prove the ratios will be the same. So we can say this is similar to both. Uh, is it, triangle A is similar to triangle B and also C. Also C. Since this one is similar to this and this is similar to this, eh? each of them is similar to any. You can say triangle C is similar to both B and A. You can also come and say triangle C is similar to both A and B, or triangle A is similar to both B and C. So that is what we get in that. So the ratios of sides of similar triangles are equal. What have we also seen? The corresponding angles, the corresponding angles the corresponding angles are also equal. Is it, it is uh, that we didn't it, we didn't work out that, huh? but it would have worked out to fifty 
degrees 50 degrees 50 degrees those are the true proofs to show that two triangles are similar two triangles are similar so for a recap what have we gone through we've elaborated our objective by putting down three triangles which we realized had corresponding angles equal and the ratios of their sides also equal so for the assignment so for the assignment for the assignment those who don't know mathematics for kenya schools by patel that is the book you'll go and attempt question two number two to number ten before we meet in the next lesson so thank you for the audience and i hope to meet you in the next lesson bye